Hello, happy July. I'm just uh, kind of checking in. I want to ask what is like the biggest lesson maybe that you've learned or received during this whole lockdown? I know for me, it has to do with a message that I would get a lot, but I think I really got it now <laughs> having to be in this lockdown during the pandemic. And that is keep it simple. Words that I am living by. We'll talk about that on this video today. I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach, and I help people to love their life. That's my website, lovemylife.coach. And what I do is I help people to clear everything that doesn't allow them to love their life, right? That all those patterns and programs and things that hold you down, that keep you stuck, that create fear, doubt, worry, all of these lower energies that really hinder or put the brakes on your creating. But you are an amazing creator. That's what we are as spirit. We are creators. We're here in this life to create. So the keep it simple message is what is really coming the strongest for me throughout all this because we had to really simplify, right? We had to be home. We had to do things in a different way, pretty much in a more easier flow because you didn't have a lot of the demand of how life was before this whole lockdown. See, we've, sh we've shifted tracks and life going forward, it's going to be way different than it ever was before, you know? And I feel like this time, because, you know, a lot of things will come up during this time. I, I might have talked about that in some of my other videos because it needs to be cleared, right? So it really is, has been a time of going within and finding what's really important to you. Yeah. So I noticed that in the past two days, I'm working on some new projects from my business, which I'm really enjoying and I'm eager and anxious to, anxious, eager and excited to do. That's a little slip, huh? anxious. But I noticed this other energy that was coming in. I can't call it anxiety or anxious. It's just that old energy of having to do it, having to get it done, having to push, 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 uh, like not allowing anything to, like, you know, it could be a simple thing, like my dog wants to go for a walk. No, I can't, I'm busy, <laughs> right? But meantime, I have no deadlines. What I'm working on doesn't need to be done now tomorrow, the next day, next week. It's just new stuff I'm creating. There's, I don't have any deadlines, but yet I've been yesterday and half of today feeling like I did, like I was back in that old energy, like when I worked in ad agencies and we had to have everything done three weeks ago because everybody wanted their stuff now, right? Um, that, that energy came back up again, right? And I'm like, what the heck's going on? And then I was thinking about this and feeling the way my energy was and I just heard it. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, Linda. I'm like, oh my God, yes. I forgot, I forgot. Of course, I'm gonna keep it simple. And so then I was able to clear my energy, right? And I look at it, let it go. And, um, and it just lifted and I'm like, wow. Okay, so maybe I needed that to happen so I can talk about that here with other people, maybe other people need to hear that to just really keep these things simple. It's a whole new world. If there were ways of being that you didn't enjoy in how life was prior to this pandemic, you have the power and you have the creativity to change it, to make it flow better, to do those things that are, are important to you. You know, we're finding ways to be with our families more, right? than maybe we've been before for those people who are really in that hustle and bustle, really super active life. Um, they probably, a lot of them, I know a lot of them are really appreciating the downtime and noticing what's really important to them. And so I know for me, I like to be in this easier flow because the creativity comes so much better when I'm, of course, you're in a higher vibration. You know, your guys, your angels, the universe can talk to you and even if you don't know that you can hear it, things will just show up that are that are perfect 
perfect to go along with what you're creating. It's like it makes things go with a nice, easy flow. So I found myself, I cut off that flow. <laughs> and I was in that, and, and, and at the time I'm like, what's going on? Like time, time was really warped for me. I mean, I can't even explain it. It was like, you know, maybe I was jumping in and out of dimensions. I'm not really sure. But ultimately, I did feel that energy come back up again of having to push to get it done. And, I, you know, it has to be done now. And I, you know, I got to get, I got to figure this, you know, but it's like, <laughs> done. Everything that that is, I just uncreated and destroyed it all. So if you're feeling that old energy, that hustle and bustle energy coming up and kind of raining on your parade of that kind of smoother flow that you might have been in, would you like to uncreate and destroy all of that? If it's a yes, let's clear it. Time's a godzillion. Uncreating it all, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. It's access consciousness clearing. And uh, I'm finding, you know, I do a lot of different energy modalities and I kind of blend them all when I'm working with people. So whatever spirit tells me, I'm just going to do. But I'm finding the access consciousness clearing is so powerful. I mean, the energies just blow. So if you want to find out more about that, you can go to the website. Uh, what is it? Theclearingstatement.com. You'll find everything you need to know. But prior to getting on here today, uh, I pulled a card. So I, I went to the deck. The answer is simple, right? Because I got the message. Keep it simple. So I pulled a card. And this card is... Connect with your soul family. Ah, interesting, right? Um, and I think it's just perfect. Especially coming up on, it's a holiday weekend here in the States, July 4th on Saturday. So what is that, two days from now? So it says, the answer is simple. Oops, that's the wrong page. <laughs> Sorry, didn't look like the message. Connect with your soul family. This isn't the moment to attempt things alone. Your spirit is isolated and needs extra support and energy. It's a time to convene with kindred spirits. Contact those who genuinely know you, love you, and deeply appreciate you. Create a way to be together with your loved ones, whether it's a leisurely conversation over the phone, a shared meal, or a walk through the park. Their support, affection, and perspective will re-energize you helping you to regain your confidence and put clarity in your present situation. Whether you need someone to act as a sounding board for your concerns or simply help you to take your mind off your worries, step back, have some fun with those you love best. Time spent with your soul family will allow you to remember what's most important to your spirit right now. And the added support is essential for your success. So yeah, to me, that reads right into the keep it simple. You know, like we're really finding out, simplifying our lives to some degree and able to really spend more time with family. I bet you a lot of you are like, yeah, you know, it's really nice to be with my family as much as I've been. I'm usually out of the house like most of the day, you know, or your animals, spending more time with your animals. But it's perfect because it's July 4th weekend. People can have barbecues. I know I'm having barbecues with my family. We've been celebrating all sorts of things throughout this time and getting together. And it really felt so good to just be with them and just hang out with them. It, was, it really is nourishing for your soul. And how basic and more simple can it be than to just connect with those people you love that you really like to share space with? Because that energy, being in that vibration, it's a higher vibration. The more you stay in these higher vibrations, the easier things come to you the easier you're manifesting and creating. And that's the thing right now, manifesting, we're manifesting much faster these days. Everything's changed, right? The, the world is totally different. We're on a different track. I think I just spoke about that in my last energy update, um, July energy update. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what that card means to you, but I'm totally taking it as just really kind of getting down to basics, like me, the truth, the truth of me. What do I really enjoy? What really lights me up? Does it have to be complicated? No. Does it have to go into drama and trauma? No, it doesn't. Keep it simple. So whatever's going on for you, maybe it feels like this big thing. Maybe just ask the question, ask the universe, how can I, what is the simplest way to achieve this? Or how can I take care of this in a much simpler way? Or how can I declutter or um, 
just see through the things that really don't matter to just get to the basic or the root of whatever it is that you're creating or whatever that might be for you. Keep it simple. So play with that and I would love you to add in the comments below what takeaways you've had over this lockdown that we've been experiencing. You know, like what 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 positive take down takeaways during the lockdown? Like what have you learned or reconnected with? A lot of times it's a reconnection. So for me it's a reconnection to being doing things simply like you did when you're a kid, right? Things were so simple when you're a kid. Your creativity was through the roof when you're a kid. So let's not let's just return to that. Let's not go into all the um, complicated scenarios. So I'll leave it at that. I hope that helped maybe some of you or had you ponder something or maybe inspired you to see where you can simplify and keep things simple in your life. I'd love you to subscribe. Oh, my dogs, my dogs like that. <laughs> I'd like you to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you on another video. Bye.